In this video, I'm going to show you how to use default values. There are several ways to use default values. There's conditional default values. So if we went into our contacts app, created a new contact, and wanted to set a default value for one of these fields, we can easily go in and say 07202. And you'll see that this defaulted to Elizabeth because we set a default value. And the way we can set that up is by clicking this bug icon here, going to set defaults, and then we'll say our default value, for example, is going to be city or zip. Let's say city equals Elizabeth, then the condition is zip code equals 07202. And that will allow our system to automatically populate some fields when that occurs. That's the simplest way to set defaults. Now, if you have Studio, you can go into Studio and set default values for any field or almost any field. So, for example, this phone number here, if we wanted to set an example value, we can set it easily here. And now the default value there will be whatever we set on the default value in Studio. So now if we create a new record, you'll see that's already populated with that default value. Now there's times where we can't necessarily get to the value that we want to set as a default. For example, if we go into accounting, configurations, taxes, and let's say we want to create a new tax and we want to set this default tax account here and this is hard to get to we can't do it through the bug and if we go into studio and we go into this list view there's nowhere to say default value so what we can do is use user defined defaults and the way that works is we're going to hard code a user defined default by going into some of the technical settings so if we went into user defined defaults, you'll actually see some of the defaults that we've set here. So this one uh, for the phone number and the conditional one for Elizabeth City. We can also create new ones. And this one, what we want to do is set that tax account. So we're going to go and click search more. We know that model is account.tax. And we'll find that under model. We'll make sure we're searching the right one. And what we want to look for is the ID of that field. So we know uh, from previous research that that field line is actually, should be tax rep, uh, repartition line and we want to set this default value. So for now, I'll just set it to zero and I'll show how we can find the ID of the account that we want to set. So this is going to be the ID of the actual account here for the field. So let's go into our accounting app again. First, we'll go into our tax And if you look at our tax field here and we hover over it, you'll see that the relation field is at count.tax and we can use that those fields that are available in debug mode, the description of the fields in order to find the actual field that we're trying to edit. And then for the account that we're looking to add is the tax received on default. So we can go to configurations, chart of accounts, and we'll look for our tax received account. And we'll go to setup. And you'll see in the URL the ID of this account. ID is 16. So we know that we can set this to 
ID equals 16. Now going back to user defined defaults, we'll go into this, we'll edit, and we'll change this to account 16. We'll refresh just to make sure everything is going to work properly. And then we'll go in and try to create a new account or a new tax account. So we're going to go into accounting. We'll go to configurations taxes and let's make sure that that account is set. And as you can see, the t default tax account is now set. And now every time we create a new tax account, we'll have our appropriate tax accounts without having to search through. And this is useful throughout the database. Uh, whenever you know you want to say default value and you don't want to make you want to make sure that no one makes mistakes, uh, you can use this little trick to make sure that that never happens.